Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. I want to tell you about an incredible doctor. He's a pulmonologist, and you'll hear a lot more about him. His name is Gustavo Ferrer, and he has a saying, just breathe. <laughs> That's what he says. He's As a pulmonologist, that makes sense. But it's kind of a story of a Cuban doctor, and he is uh, he has quite a story to tell. But what I wanted to do first, he's, uh, he's in our issues. Uh, our, the issue just came out in October. And let me read some of it to you because it's really quite good. Um, he's ta- You know, we're all worried about the flu, how to prevent colds this winter. So let me read what he said. He says, as winter approaches, so does the dreaded cold and flu season. But this year, arm yourself against these nasty bugs as much as possible. There are easy, affordable, and natural steps you can take to help fight back against these illnesses, even before you get a sniffle. Try these 10 methods to boost your immunity and stay healthy this winter. This is what Dr. Farrar suggests. One, go for a run. This is my personal favorite. Run fast enough to break a sweat, and your elevated body temperature will work with your immune system just as a fever does. Two, don't cough into your hands. Wash your hands and avoid rubbing your nose. Viruses get to you through the nose and mouth. Number three, take a good blend of immune support herbs such as Echinacea, golden seal, astragla, astragulus, and andrographius. I hope I pronounce, pr- pronounced that correct. They're a little bit foreign to me. I'm going to go to actually to the health food store and look at them, and I am going to get them. Anyway, they're available in any health food store. The best one of all, my favorite, is tropical sage. Unfortunately, it is not widely available. Number four, use your Exlear saline nasal spray with xylitol to kill microbes right in the nasal passages. I want to tell you that I have a cousin that suffers from a lot of nose uh, problems, and she started using this because Dr. Ferrer recommended it, and she said it's it's magnificent. She loves it. So that's a good suggestion. Number five, probiotics help the immune system as well as the digestive system. So make sure you are taking those regularly. Number six, here's a good one. Drink ginger tea with lemon and honey. Oh, yum, I love that. The best method is to simmer ginger slices to bring out the antibiotic effect. Add lemon and honey, each add to the cold and flu prevention effect, and make it taste delicious. Seven, garlic. It's also a strong antimicrobial and can be minced and sautéed to enhance a variety of meals. Or mince it and add raw to salsa for delicious and health-boosting treat. I had read this, and I was making turkey the other, the other night. And I added huge amounts of garlic. My goodness, it was so delicious. So, you know, and it was healthy. So I was glad about that one. He said, number eight, avoid sugar and artificial sweeteners. I'm going to read that again. Avoid sugar and artificial sweeteners, which weaken the immune system. Use stevia, xylitol, raw agave, or fruit as sweeteners instead. Number nine, eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, especially the deeply colored ones, which have the most phytonutrients, plant-based nutrients. That's what it means. Start the day with a green smoothie, blending green leafy vegetables with fruits such as bananas and berries. And I want to tell you about that. He told me about this. So I have bananas. When they go bad, I put them into the freezer. So I have all these frozen bananas. So I did that. And he also told me I should have almond milk, not regular milk. So I took the berries, the frozen berries, that he said, buy frozen berries and because they're fresh and they're going to be wonderful in a smoothie, which I did. And then I had the almond milk. And then I got all sorts of greens and threw them in. Then I had frozen pineapple, frozen berries. And I even put some flax seeds in. 
I thought that was the best drink. I had two full glasses that I made in my blender. And I have to thank him. He really made a difference for me. I could have that big that big um, drink in the morning and not really be hungry until a little after lunchtime. And it's wonderful. It's cold and it's has so much so many vitamins and nutrients. So that's I'm really happy. I learned a lot from him. He does this. He tells you about these things all the time. So that was his number nine. And you, when you get your magazine on page three, you will see what Dr. Ferrer recommends. And I'm just reading from it. Then number 10 says, keep the nasal passages hydrated, such as with a humidifier, if necessary, as the dry air from some heating systems dry out the mucous membranes membranes in the airway and allow microbes an entry point. So he's saying that just be careful that you want to keep your nasal passages hydrated. And, um, and he also had said, that's why my cousin started doing this, using the xylitol, the X-Clear saline. So then he says, in addition to frequent hand washing and getting the flu vaccine, you hear that, get the flu vaccine, Working these tips into your regular health routine should keep you one step ahead of the cold and flu season. Now, let me tell you about him. If you want to book an appointment for him, their offices are in Weston. Excuse me, that's not true. They He does have an office in Weston, but his main offices are in Aventura. And he has other very renowned pulmonologists working there with him. So you'll want to call them, and I'm going to give you a number. Remember, this is Pencil Talk Radio. It's 954-482-4747. Again, that's 954-482-4747. Or on, you can go to their website, which is ICE, I-C-E, healthnet.com. I-C-E, healthnet.com. And the ICE stands for the Integrative Care Experts. And the company is Aventura Pulmonary. And uh, I have to just say that um, they do it from the simple, comprehensive pulmonary service to second opinions to advanced lung disease. And Dr. Farrar is just an amazing, amazing guy. And his history is even more amazing. But let me just read some more from Now, this book, we'll be reviewing as our book of the month in December, a book called Cough Cures. Complete Guide to the Best Natural Remedies and Over-the-Counter Drugs for Acute and Chronic Coughs. And it's by Gustavo Ferrar and Burke Lenahan, who is a nurse. And I have to just say that this book is so filled with good suggestions, good stuff. And he really doesn't like, Dr. Ferrar really doesn't like prescription medication unless it's absolutely necessary he really, and, and I'll be reading later if I have time, that he really came from Cuba and they didn't have a lot of the fancy drugs, so they did everything that was very natural, and he really believes in that. All right, let me just read some stuff to you. It's so nice. I have beautiful things. Dr. Farrar says, Life is about the journey, not the destination. Every day contributes to your life in some important way. It's important to seek clues and to stay focused on the present instead of focusing on some future reality that you are either dreading or trying to do. When Dr. Ferrer was in Cuba practicing medicine, he had a dream of coming to America to become a doctor. His journey ended up taking him to the uh, Orinoco River Valley in Venezuela, where he practiced medicine and learned from one of the oldest tribes who lived along the waterway. It was not a straight cut path to his dream of practicing medicine in America, but he learned a great deal about herbal remedies, cultural sensitivity, and end of life by taking this life detour to Venezuela. If you simply start practicing the art of appreciating each moment, he says you begin to garner an abundance of information that you will take with you for the rest of your life. Yes, Dr. Ferrer is is a philosopher as well as a pulmonologist. He says the gift of quick forgiveness. Difficulties and problems along our life's journey will bring strong negative emotions. 
anger, guilt, hate, that we must quickly learn to free ourselves from in the intensive care unit where he deals with death and dying daily, he learned that death shows us how finite and fragile life is on this earth. When we accept that death is inevitable, living with intention and in the present becomes easier. This way we're not unconsciously preoccupied with resentments and fears. His latest book, Graceful Exit, is a collection of stories from his patients and where he learned this valuable lesson of life. Now, the book I was referring to is the other book called Cough Cures. The Art of Medicine. He believes that the art of medicine heals much more than diseases. Doctors who practice this can bring healing to the soul through words of encouragement, understanding by listening, and they can even contribute to saving the patient and the country money by educating them. It is for this reason that he wrote Cough Cures first and now Graceful Exit. These two books act like the front and back cover of one great book that describes the best possible health care system, a system that utilizes the right place and value for each practice that brings healing. As he often jokingly says, I'd never use teas to treat a patient in the ICU. In the same way, I will never intubate a patient suffering from mild cold. There should be a balance for everything. Now he says, get out of your cocoon. Dr. Ferrer has built a very successful medical practice and no longer worries about where he will eat or sleep at night. That being said, he has a keen appreciation for others who are currently struggling in their lives. He says he never wants to lose sight of the fact that there are people who are suffering in the world and that every person has a responsibility to lend a hand to those who need it. His own family is still struggling to survive back home in Cuba. This is why Dr. Ferrer takes his family to a local homeless shelter in Fort Lauderdale one Saturday a month to serve breakfast. He says this is a reminder to himself and to his kids about the importance of staying humble. As well, he hopes that this story serves as inspiration to those he talks to. His main message being that anyone can achieve a dream regardless of the obstacles in front of them. So he says, just breathe. His motto is simple, just breathe. Dr. Ferrer says that even though his journey has been anything but easy, he has always learned to simply put one foot in front of the other, relax a bit, and trust that help will come along when needed. When Dr. Ferrer defected to the U.S., He recalls landing at the airport in Atlanta with only $100 in his pocket. He couldn't speak English and wasn't quite sure where he would go from there. Not knowing how to use a payphone, he sought the help of a janitor whom he overheard speaking in Spanish. He asked her to please help him make a phone call. After the phone call, the nice woman took him to the ticket counter. The ticket to Miami was $180, but he only had $100 to his name. As he was trying to explain this to the woman at the counter, an old woman standing behind him overheard the conversation. With a heart for immigrants, she understood his struggles and ended up giving him the money he needed to get to Miami. Dr. Ferrer says that when you are faced with huge mountains, it's very easy to get consumed by worry. But if you can just find it in you to relax and just breathe, everything will eventually work itself out, often in the most unexpected of ways. This is, um, I think you can tell a lot more about him as I read this. This is who he really is. Let me tell you a little bit about the story of uh, the, a Cuban doctor because it is, uh, it's, it's almost short of a miracle. Gustavo Ferrer is a story of a Cuban doctor. He is an award-winning pulmonologist trained in Cuba and the U.S. He is founder of Cleveland Clinic Florida Cough Center and president of Intensive Care Experts, that's called ICE, based in Florida. He is author of Graceful Exit, How to Advocate 
effectively take care of yourself and be present for the death of a loved one and soon to be that's to be released uh, in May 2018 and the book Cough Cures the complete guide to the best natural remedies and over-the-counter drugs for acute and chronic coughs in which he offers a blend of Western and natural remedies to address acute and chronic respiratory issues. Dr. Ferrer began his medical work in Cuba, then was hired by the United Nations University to serve as Director of Respiratory Research, where he worked with the native people of Venezuela's Orinoco River. He eventually moved to the U.S., where he completed his residency at Texas Tech University and received a fellowship in pulmonary pulmonary and critical care at George Washington University. So are you okay so far? I'm I'm reading all this to you because I think he has an important story. Dr. Ferrer has received several prestigious awards, including being listed among the best doctors in the U.S. by U.S. News and World Report and has been featured in USA Today, NBC News, CNN Español, radio shows, national and international newspapers. He has also been invited to a White House briefing to discuss Affordable Care Act. I didn't know all that. That's really fantastic. He does get around. Well, he's really a charmer when you get and sit and talk with him. He's very kind. He's very, very busy. Actually, he was going to do this interview today, but he had an emergency at the hospital. Of course, that came first. We'll have him on another time, but I just wanted to do as much as I could in the meantime. What many do not realize about this highly determined uh, healer is that life hasn't always been so easy. In fact, the odds of him ever accomplishing his dream were so stacked against him that some might consider his success a miracle. At 17 years old, Ferrer left the farm he grew up on to study medicine in Guantanamo, and from there he moved 500 miles away to Havana, to begin his pulmonary medicine residency. He had no money and nowhere to live, forcing him to take extra shifts at the hospital, there where he worked, and at night he would sleep in patient rooms in hospital closets or occasionally on a friend's floor. He was homeless during his pulmonary medicine education and was at one point incarcerated in Venezuela for living in the country on a lapsed visa. Can you imagine this? Is It really is so worrisome when you take someone like this and you don't treat them right. Well, so I think that's what he does. You know, he knows what his past was, and that's why he's so kind to everyone else. He remembers vividly being rescued out of the police car by a group of friends, like seen out of James Bond movie. In the early 2000s, he defected to the United States. Well, while he was there... He was painting houses to make a living and learning English on the side, and he completed his medical boards and eventually joined Texas Tech, where he studied internal medicine. From there, he transferred to George Washington University, where he studied pulmonary and critical care medicine, and from there, he has built a reputation as one of the best pulmonary specialists in the country. Um, Dr. Ferrer, his first name is Gustavo, he has been very open to share some of the lessons he learned along his journey. So his motto in life and business is quite simple, just breathe. This this is a something that's called resistance that he wrote. Admittedly, Dr. Ferrer says that he had to jump over and through hundreds of obstacles to pursue his dream of coming to the U.S., to practice medicine. Yet he is thankful for all the problems he encountered along the way because every snag or difficulty came with a silver lining. He learned how to focus his mind on the end goal, even when faced with adversity, and to juggle many responsibilities at once, like when he arrived in the U.S. and was balancing his job as a painter, learning English, and taking the medical boards all at the same time. He said his resourcefulness came from his having been homeless where, and practicing medicine in Cuba, and his empathy for others has been out of his own struggle. 
to make it through a very difficult time. So Dr. Ferrer says that resistance in life builds mental toughness, which in turn gives one the ability to achieve big dreams. He says, when you realize that every problem is a gift, you appreciate them for what they are when they come along rather than dreading that you are once again confronted with another obstacle. I think that is so well written, and it says so much about Dr. Ferrer. Uh, he really is everything that I've just written, that I've just read to you. And his book, as I, I was saying, Cough Cures, is, is a magnificent read. Um, I have it here in front of me. It's uh, It really is... is it's so good. Um, I, I could just sit and read the whole thing from start to finish. But let me just read a little bit about what the what the book is. Here's some testimonials. It says, in this groundbreaking book, you'll find the best of both worlds, bridging the gap between conventional and holistic medicine. Cough cures is not just about coughs. It's about natural alternatives for antibiotics, cough syrups pain and sleeping medications, even anti-acids. Dr. Ferrer, a renowned pulmonologist and Burke Lenahan RN, a certified practitioner in holistic medicine, bring you a book packed with natural cures and guides for the best over-the-counter drugs for acute and chronic cough. You will also learn about acupressure, breathing exercises, and other techniques. The recommendations for natural remedies are documented with more than 200 research studies so that when both parents and physicians can feel confident in using them, Cough Cures has the answers you've been waiting for. Discover why antibiotics don't work for most colds and coughs, when and how to treat something safely at home, how to save time and money treating coughs, colds, and flu, how to avoid unnecessary and possibly harmful x-rays, the top natural holistic treatments and safest drugs for coughs, colds, flu, insomnia, and acid reflux and pain relief. This groundbreaking book provides an unbiased approach to the best over-the-counter drugs and natural treatments for coughs, colds, and many more. The book provides easy-to-understand instructions while protecting consumers from being lured by false advertisement claims. Its information is valuable to both the general public and physicians. And it really is. It's an extraordinary book. And let's see, there's another one here. Uh, uh, what I just read was from Elena Rios, president of the Natural Hispanic Medical Association. And the next thing is, we've needed this book for years, not only to treat cough, but also to live a healthier life, useful for health professionals and lay people alike. It reads easily, and the shortcuts guide the reader to key points. I learn much, and I plan to use the information to many new protocols. The appendices alone are worth buying the book, as they provide the scientific research. I recommend it not only to treat cough ailments, but also to live a healthier life. And that's by retired Major General Bernard Lufke, Ph.D., author, speaker, and humanitarian. So you can see that people are really excited about this book. Um, and, and, and as I said, I'm going to do a book review because it will be Book of the Month for December in Boomer Times. So that's uh, something to look forward to. In the meantime, Dr. Ferrer has been on the radio before with us, and he will be coming back to do this when he's, you know, he just has a lot of emergencies, and those things happen. But I hope that I've been able to read enough to you so that you got, you know, a picture of what he really can do. Because, uh, and so now what I have to do, I want to give you ways that you can get in touch with him. And that's really, really important. So the way to do that is, again, you would call one nine five four four six excuse me four eight two four seven four seven. Again, that's nine five four four eight two four seven four seven. Nine nine five four four eight two four seven four seven. And his website is icehealthnet.com. Ice. 
and and ICE stands for Intensive Care Experts, and it's uh, the the organization that he is uh, in charge of is Aventura Pulmonary, and so and that's down in in Aventura. He has had an office in Weston, but all his staff and everyone uh, they are all down there in um, in Aventura. So if you're having a cough, you know it's funny. I I have friends that they don't seem to be sick, but boy, do they have a cough. And we could be talking, and all of a sudden, this talk this big rasping cough. And I have I didn't know before I met Doctor Ferrer, but I truly believe they should go and make an appointment to see him. I have a cousin in North Carolina. She has been to every doctor, every pulmonologist in her area. And they will say, there's nothing wrong with you, but that you should really uh, go get, you know, go do something. And I said, go see Dr. Ferrer. That's what they should do. So I'm um, happy that I was able to take this half hour to be with you. And Dr. Ferrer will come back another time and do take your, get your flu shot and do take really good care of yourself. <laughs> 